Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. This video is all about how to rotate your chest through impact. Do you feel like you use too much of your hands and your arms, you're flipping, you're scooping, not rotating enough? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rotate better and really strike pure golf shots. If that sounds good, let's dive in. Okay, we're talking about rotating that chest through impact. Now this is super important to, I guess for many, many reasons. And I'll be demonstrating with an eight iron here with an iron, but it is also really applicable to your driver as well. So if you have any questions about the driver, same principles apply, we need that rotation. Now why is rotation important? Because I'm not saying you can't use, we need to use our hands and arms, they provide a lot of the speed and that. But if you're someone that you just feel like, maybe you've looked at yourself on video, you've had an instructor tell you, you're just using too much hands and arms, you're really pushing at the ball like this, or just flipping too early, and your hands and arms really taking over the golf swing. The rotational aspect of the swing is so important, especially in the downswing, because the benefits are just endless it helps you shallow the golf club. For me, the most important thing is having that connection between that upper body and the arms. But really what it does for me is it keeps that club face stable. If you can get a stable club face coming through to impact, keep that stable, your chances of hitting the ball straight and solid are so much greater. And I'm going to show you a drill in this video that will help you practice rotating better, rotating that chest better through impact and keeping a stable club face. So your irons and your driver will start on a much straighter line to the target and you'll be a lot more consistent. So, as I said, I'm not saying don't use your, your hands and your wrists and your arms, they obviously play a massive part, but like anything in golf, we don't want to overdo it. So I'll just stand over one here. So the idea is, when we get to the top, I want that upper body, which is obviously connected to the chest, as you make your downswing, a lot of the problem is, I see with a lot of golfers, you might be able to relate to this, I do this occasionally, as you come down, the chest seems to stop right about this point. It'll move maybe a little bit, but then the hands and arms will take over. And the swing might actually look pretty good, but that's difficult to uh, be really repetitive with that and make a repeatable swing and be consistent because you're relying on hands and arms to square up that face. And I've seen golfers that can actually do this. If you're someone though, let's say you normally shoot about 85 thereabouts, but then the next week you find you shoot 95. There's like a 10 shot differential from one round to the next, then for you, there's a good chance that your hands and arms might be doing too much. On your day, you get the timing right with them, fantastic. You could probably be even shooting even lower than 85, but you get a day when your hands and arms, the timing's a little bit off, all of a sudden, you're shooting up to those mid 90s, maybe even higher. So the rotational aspect, as we come down, I want you to keep that chest moving, 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 and rotating all the way through. And if you sort of pick a spot right on the top of my backside, as I come down, I want that, that, that section of my back, as I strike the ball, to keep on rotating around. See, it, it, should, it should keep on moving, and that's the real key to really keep that rotation happening. So I'll just demonstrate one here, and I'm gonna explain to you a really great feel before I show you this drill on how you can get better rotation. So I'll hit one here first, and I'll just show you exactly the feel that I use. Just a nice, smooth one. All right, there's one feel that I use to help make sure I get that chest rotating. Quite simply, my trail arm, I'll show you from the other angle, as it comes down to about here, 
I kind of feel like this elbow or this arm stays pinned to my rib cage or the side of my body here. Now, that obviously doesn't happen in the real swing, but my feeling is that I get to here, everything just starts rotating together. And I feel like this is still attached to that. It's a feeling. So from this angle here, as I've shallowed, as I get to here, I feel like that right arm stays right along that, that rib cage, and I just keep rotating. That's the feeling, rotating. And that helps me just keep that club face super stable, and I get less variance left and right sort of shots. So I want you to think about that next time you make a practice swing. In fact, jump out of your chair now, and just feel like as you make your downswing, as the club gets to here, really feel like that, that right side, or for a right hander, lefties just do the opposite. It sort of stays on your side, and from here, you can just rotate as hard as you want. And I think this is a really effective way of improving your consistency. Shouldn't have any impact if you've got any injuries or what age you are, to help you get better rotation and play a lot more consistent. So let me show you a really quick drill. This is really important because you can practice this at home as a pre-shot routine even on the golf course to help you play even better golf. Okay, let me show you this simple drill you can use to get better chest rotation through impact. Now very quickly before I show you that, make sure you like this video if you think this will help you out. Drop a comment if you think you've tried this or that this will really help you out, I'd really love to know. So what do you want you to do? Grab an alignment stick or something very similar to that, place it under your trail arm. You'll have about the same distance on either side sticking out. Now the idea is, as you make a swing, as you come down through impact, I want that alignment stick to stay in there. I don't want it to come flying out, which is exactly what will happen if I use too much wrists and too much arms. And that'd be, that's what'll happen there if I use too much arm movement. So I can place that in. Don't have to squeeze it too high, too uh, tight, just nice and comfortable. Just going to make a really smooth swing, nice and easy, and just keep that alignment stick in. Kept that alignment stick in. I just kept on, my feeling was, as I came down, that right side was a little bit closer to my body and stayed pinned to my right side, and I just kept rotating. So let's try one more. Hold it in place. You'll feel like your right arm, I'll show you from face on, your right arm just stays a little bit more bent in the downswing, particularly at impact. Stays a little bit bent, which is a good thing, particularly with your irons. And then it will straighten more post-impact. So let's hit another one. Nice and smooth. Just made some really good rotation just by using an alignment stick and really feeling like that right arm really stays close to that right side through impact and just keep everything rotating keep that chest rotating that will make a huge difference in your ball striking now what will help you out even more i've got a video coming up that talks about how you can make a short backswing and still generate heaps of power. So you don't have to get it right back past that 90 degrees with your shoulder turn. You can make a shorter back swing, something like a Tony Finau, and still pay, play fantastic golf. So I'll see you on that video. It's coming up.